Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the SU-8, the Tier 6 Soviet SPG. It's on the north spawn of Abbey under the command of Talon 1958. Battle started! Well, this RT is based on the T-28 hull, but it's got a massive 152mm howitzer mounted on top of it, which makes it quite powerful. In fact, it's got higher DPM than the M44. And that's partially down to the fact that the alpha damage from this gun is 600, whereas the M44, it's only 550. Well, he's got a good reload as well, around about 18 seconds. And he's moving to a firing position just north of the entrance. It's a nice little dip here, which you can hide in, and it allows you to fire at the enemy. And of course, they're not looking for the tracer over here. Well, not all the time. Okay, well... He's now looking for a target to shoot at. One enemy tank has been killed already, a T-52. And, oh, look, we've got two targets to fire at. And Talon's dialing in. Can he get a shot? He fires and gets a direct hit on a BK-3601. A lot of heavy tanks coming this way. That means there'll be fewer heavy tanks going over the other side of the map. Rounds out on the VK, hits the top of that hill. Okay, there's a KV-2 hiding behind that uh, wreck. He's almost loaded. I think he's still there. Rounds out straight away. Don't know if he hit anything there. But uh, those three heavy tanks, or two heavy tanks actually there, because there's a 40 TP made it to the midway point only the Churchill's moving forward and the 40 TP got stunned it's only a brief stun it's only 152 millimeter howitzer okay he's fired another round in and he hit the target straight on that 40 TP and we can't see around that corner because our guys haven't moved forward enough. Up, oh, there's the 3601, the one that he hit early on. And he's trying to climb that slope and it's not going to work. And he's lost most of his hit points to that shot. 214, and he's dead. So, some stun assist as well. And he's not going to be able to hit that Churchill because he's actually behind that wall. But he can hit the 40 TP. And he's hit it once before. Rounds out. Now the shell exploded prematurely on the hill, unfortunately. That's why we didn't get a hit on the target, but we're loading again. Should be able to get a hit this time. Loaded, rounds out. That's probably a splash hit. And he's just checking. Is he okay? Well, there's only him and the M44 guarding this side of the map. The M44 is going to be spotting for him from now on. He does need some help, and he might have to retreat quickly back into the central area. It looks like the M44 is doing that. Yeah, the M44 is retreating, so he might want to consider pulling back quickly. That Churchill 3 is probably coming through that gap. Now, if he does go through that gap between the tanks, that tank will probably, that wreck will probably move. Nothing yet. Panzer IV Hydrostat is coming round. Oh, yes, the enemy did move through. And he fires around in. Oh, it hits the ground in front of them. But it does tell them that there's somebody up ahead firing an arty at them and they can't see him. He's about to get another shot on the 40 TP. And at this angle, he'll probably take it out. Oh, he got hit. Okay, he's loaded. Rounds out straight away. Kills the 40 TP. Going for the T25. Just reloading halfway there. He won't get a kill shot. Oh, he might get a kill shot now. He might get a kill shot now. He's loaded. Rounds out. Kill shot. That's two. Two with two shots. Can he make it three? 
Well, he's found a Panzer IV H in the grounds of the Abbey, who's firing on one of our Cromwells, and he's dialing in as he's reloading. Rounds out, and yes, he did. He got three shots, three kills. That's a Reaper. Oh, the enemy RT worked out where he was after that last shot. I think the other enemies did see him. And consequently, they dialed in on this position and took him out of the game. He did say, oh, well, good luck to the rest of the team. Let's see if they can finish it off for him. He's now going to be a spectator. Hopefully, he'll go to one of the other tanks in the uh, team to actually see what they're doing. That's what I would recommend if you ever do get killed in battle and you want the replay to go to a video, follow one of the other tanks so we can see what's going on with the battle and follow them. How he's done, he's done it. Good, good, excellent. Okay, the M44's moved close to the enemy cap, but he's stopped. He doesn't want to get spotted by the enemy. They might be defending his three RT and one tank destroyer. The tank destroyer is the M10 RBFM, the French one. And he was last seen in grid square J5. So if the M44 goes around the corner, he could get a shell straight at him. There's the M10. He's been spotted. We know where he is. Panzer IV hydrostats going after him. One shot, and the next one will kill him. Yes! Oh! Panzer IV Heistrostat was killed by the M41 HMC. Same guy who got Talon. And there's the M44 in the enemy team. Making a quick escape up the river road. But that means now there's only Arties at the, uh, defending the enemy cap area. And that means the rest of the team can pile on in and go to start capping. We know the M44 has gone up the river road. That just leaves the SU-8 and the M41 HMC near the cap. And I suspect the M41 HMC is somewhere over on the east side of the map. After all, he got a very quick shot on that Panzer IV Hydrostat. So I suspect he was incredibly close to him. And that's why it was so quick and easy for him to dial in. The other tanks are moving in on this position. Now I'll need to take care because I suspect the M41 is ready. Yes, the M44. I think he's about to get wiped out. The M10, the M10 is going to get him. No problem. One shot. Oh, and he's dived into the water to drown the nasty little... Well, you don't do that. You don't drown yourself. You're a silly idiot if you do. Wasted opportunity to get more damage. And he's killed himself. And that leaves the M41 HMC and the SU-8. And the rest of the team are focusing on them. And the M41 was actually the other side. And that's surprising. But he's about to get in a crossfire. And he's gone. So it's a victory. So well played, Talon. Mm, pity that you weren't there at the end, but let's have a look at the end of battle stats and see how well you did. Well, third class tanker for Talon, 1958 in the SU-8. He got a Reaper badge. He did get a Reaper. He killed three tanks with consecutive shots. So he earned his Reaper. He also picked up a Bruiser Medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got seven in total. And his win eight for the game was 2,491, which is very nice. And if we look at the scoreboard, we can see that uh, the Panzer IV Hydrostat managed to get the high caliber. He got 1,680 hit points, but Talon wasn't far behind him with 1,289. And after that, it was the T-52 with 1,032 hit points. When it came to kills, it was the SU-8 of Talon who managed to get three kills. So did the SU-8 on the enemy team. And then there's a bunch of tanks with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was actually the Hydrostat who did best with 945 base experience points, 689 to the M10 RBFM, and 638 to Talon. He fired 12 rounds, got five direct hits, zero penetrations, but nine splash. Damage of 1,289 hit points, of which 939 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. 
It was a penetration at one round that came from the M41. It wiped him out completely. And he spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged five of the enemy, killed three of them, and did 247 hit points of stun assist of six stuns. On a premium count, he earned 30,140 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 18,332 credits. He received 957 XP, times two for the first victory, plus 316 XP for completing the mission and events, took away 2,230 altogether. So a very good round there for Talon. It was a pity that he did get spotted. Um, if he'd actually moved when I first mentioned the M44 bugged out of there as quickly as he could uh, because he realized that the enemy was on its way up that road. He might have stayed alive, but then he would have missed the opportunity to hit those tanks as they came around the corner. He probably would have missed the opportunity to take out the 40TP and the T25 and then the Panzer 4H. But uh, yes, unfortunately, staying behind for those kills did actually lead to him being killed because, of course, he'd been spotted by the 40TP and... Uh, that meant the M41 had an easy shot to kill him. There you go. It does happen sometimes. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. Thanks for watching.